Hello. I'm just back from holiday today. Been up at the west coast. A video coming soon because there was a rather nice vacuum there. And we're going to have a better look at this today because I feel that the video of when I first got it, a lot of it was dedicated to that Sainsbury's vac. So here's the DC weight and it's in actually okay condition apart from the filth. Now, what have I done? Well, before I went away, I should have maybe unstored it. There we are. Let's just remove the holes out of the way. Well, before I went away, I vacuumed out here, so it's a bit empty. There is a bit of stuff in there, however, because I did use it. It does work well. I also cleaned that filter on video. I put a washed filter in there. The filter didn't wash up well enough. The switch is stiff. A lot of the time it doesn't work. So you feel like you're pressing nothing. You see how it doesn't really click? And then, oh there's a screw. But it's a bit dirty. Um, but I think that's on so we'll leave it on. The little mini head works well. Just a bit of hair. I'm going to be doing this tomorrow. I did find some other DC-08 stuff. Is this hose and wand, which aren't much use. I do have a dusting brush that will fit this. And I thought that hard floor head would fit, but it is, it's just a bit loose. I have got a DC-08 cyclone as well. A nice washed one. Um, but you'll see here that this adapter is needed because you, the older, when these first came out, the DC-08, the stowaway didn't really come about till a wee bit later, as far as I know. So it was a non-stowaway animal. And basically, the tube diameter on the stowaways and non-stowaways is different. So you'll see that that fits fine. So this fits the standard tube fine. But then you need the adapter to make the diameter smaller for the stowaway tube. As I was saying, sorry for that slight technical hitch, you need that just to fit it onto the stowaway tube. The HEPA filter is not too bad after a vacuum off. I did give it a little dust down, but it's still filthy. Of course, tomorrow I'll be taking it apart fully. Um, not today. It is a scorcher today. Um, this is a lovely drive home from... Oh, I think I've got that in a wee bit. There we go. Um, so as I say, I put a washed filter in because I, the filter from it was just too... There was too much grit in it and it wasn't really going to wash out. So yep, nice clean one. Uh, it's a bit filthy in there and it's a wee bit stained but it's nice and clean. Let's just... Ugh, it's very stiff this. I'll have to do this off camera. Give me a second. There we go. The cord is actually quite clean. My uncle's obviously never pulled the cord out in a shed. Um, and it's the original plug. Um, so I think it'll be, it won't be like early, but it'll be, I don't know, maybe 2003, I don't know. The rewind's a little bit slow, well it could be that the plug weight's stopping it. Yeah, it's a little bit slow, but it works, with a bit of help as usual. Um, the two small tools that it has, I need to get a crevice tool, but the two small tools are nice. Um, that one doesn't look to have had much use, but they're both pretty dirty after sitting in my uncle's shed. Again, my uncle's shed isn't exactly clean. You can see there's sawdust from it sitting in, in my uncle's shed. So I gave this a dust out in an empty, but it's filthy even in there. So I'll give it a bit of a vacuum out. I'll take the blower cone off, vacuum all that out before I strip it in my house. Well, I might actually do the cycling outside. So, I thought I had more small tools for this hose, but I only have a brush. Um, I forgot I gave the other ones away when I serviced a friend's DC-08. I do have a DC-08 filter retainer as well, in case I want to put a pad in this. But the filter's fine for now. If I sell it, it'll get a new filter. But I'm, I, I'm yet to figure out what to do with it. We can wait till my uncle hopefully finds the large turbo head because I sent him a picture of what it should look like he said yeah that looks a bit familiar so he might come across it but I don't know so I'll get this off the old freezer first before we show it in action 
So the drawback to having an extra adapter is that it makes the tube even longer. These tubes are massive. It doesn't actually have a click button on the actual adapter, but I suppose there isn't really room for it. But I got the switch on in the on position. So let's just kick it over there and lose the attachments. And then in a really awkward, shaky few moments, we'll um, get this ready to vacuum and then we'll switch it on. So let's switch it on. It's not too noisy. it was speeding up when I put it on the rug but I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that so my the next question is will a DCO7 switch work in it because I have a DCO7 switch again somewhere in my box of parts which we'll have to go raking through um, there's a DA001 cleaner head that's actually not faded there's a distill head um, so I've got some handy stuff, but whether it comes in handy is the big question. Oh, I, actually, I've got to look in here anyway for a good friend of mine, pneumatic collector, who needs a DCO7 animal, um, what would you call it, wand duct thing. Because I think I've got one of them that you can have. Uh, oh yeah, here's my uh, box of... I think there's a, yeah, there's a switch in there. Um, trying to find that bend for... It's the bend, um, duct. Oh yeah, here it is. There you go, Adam. Does that look okay? It's a bit scuffed, but... There you go. It's a wee bit dirty as well. Um, I'll keep that out somewhere. Up with the DC-19, aka DC-08. Right, now I've realised that my T15 Torx driver is actually inside in my house, so maybe if I run and grab it on video, we could fit this switch. Here you go. Let's just focus this in. Try and get this to focus first. There we go. And as far as I know, the switch works fine. So what we'll do then is I'll go run in and get my screwdriver, the correct one, and we can open this on camera, get a sneak peek of how dirty it is inside, and then fit the switch and see if it works well. I think the switches will be fine. Um, of course I will be taking this apart and cleaning it tomorrow, but I'll have to reassemble it to test the switch. So, uh, I suppose we could do a bit of a guide, couldn't we? Let's just remove the hose. I'm tempted to wash it because it is quite filthy, but it would take an age to dry and because it's so long, you know. Uh, I'll reel the cable in. Don't want to be battling a cable. Oh, yeah, that's told you that's a bit slow. But they're all super slow. Again, you've usually got to help them along, but maybe if I clean the reel up a bit, it might. Um, I did have a good DC-08 cable reel, but I rather stupidly chopped the cable off and binned the reel instead of keeping the whole reel. It had a black plug, it had a black round Dyson plug. Right, I'm going to keep, because I'm not going to take the cable exit thing off yet. I'll do that tomorrow, of course, to wash all the casing. But for now, you can leave this much cable out and pull the rest of the casing out and you're left with a bit of access. So, I'll put that up here. I've got a load of Dyson screws as well, so they're, they're largely interchangeable, so that's a big screwdriver. Um, right, so I'll be back in a second with a T15 screwdriver. Well, it'll be a literal moment for you because I'll pause. I better make sure I pause, otherwise you'll have a five minute gap in the video. So, pause. Found my T15, so we'll just take that off. 
Uh, try and get this filter flap off. There we go. Obviously, never looked at the filter before then. Uh, just get. There's plenty of how to's on YouTube on how to do this, so I'm not going to make it that detailed. Again, once I've done this, I'll do it tomorrow. I might actually leave it in bits, actually. I suppose that's a good idea. I'm going to pause while I take the wheels off because that can be a bit shaky. Haha, well, we've been raking around in a load of fluff to find the screws and. It's quite filthy here. You can see that that's quite dead. So, the switches. Yeah, they seem identical, so I can't really see any problem with swapping them. Of course, we might... Oh, they'll be fine. We, we'll know. We'll know later on, but... Seems fine for now, so I'll just fit the switch. Right, so the switch is fitted, feels fine, the other one, it works most of the time but then you see it gets stuck and then is a bit useless. So, we'll keep that over there just now, so we'll see if this works, it should work, I mean no reason why, why it wouldn't, because the dice it came from was a 1400 watt motor in an upright and this is our 1400 watt cylinder so really they are very similar motors as well so I don't really see why there would be any difference at all right so I'm gonna go off just pause while I get all this back together it really is filthy right it's back together Um, it's everything fitted the only reason I did put it back together is I don't want loads of bit of bit bits of DC weight lying around so there you go, working perfectly. Let's just bring it in, switch it off. Perfect, isn't it? Here you go. Fix it with Hoover Master. Um, actually, some if you if you're wondering why it's not Vacuum Master. One, there's already a billion vac masters, vacuum masters, vac guys out there. And second of all, um, people around in the UK all call them Hoovers. So people will remember the name Hoover Master a bit better over the name Vacuum Master or Vac Master. Right, this takes ages to get this cable on. I'll try and improve that when I do this tomorrow. You really need two hands, one so you can push down. But that's great, it works fine. So I need to remember to take my T15 in as well and all the gubbins and we'll do it tomorrow. I'll do some, I'll do one of those Instagram slideshows. You know, where you slide to the left and there's a slideshow. It's not quite together perfectly. You'll see there's a bit of a gap in the case and, but I was only testing it. I'm not gonna be using it. I'm going to wait till I've done it to use it all. We can start the split down now, lol. <laughs> lol. Who even says lol out loud? But yeah, that's the magical screw that releases story. But thank you for watching. You'll see this when it's all done. Looking nice. Oh, what does this say? Not unwieldy to carry or store. Well, if James Dyson actually lifted one of these up, then yeah, you would take that back. Because when you've got all the gubbins on them, they're heavy. That's the, that's the truth of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Come on. I've had it off autofocus, so... No, it has been on autofocus the whole video, so it'll... It will have um, been pretty bad, but sorry about that. Thank you for watching.